All right, let's go. Well, it was a difficult game because we had a, it was a typical Premier League game now that you see a lot in the Premier League, a team who has a lot of the ball and a team who defends deep well and uh, waits for the counter-attack and uh, set pieces. The West Brom did very well in that. We had 77% of possession, but uh, we didn't create enough chances, I think. Uh, and uh, I think it's first uh, down to the quality of their defending and their hard work physically. Your, your team have received a lot of criticism from, from pundits, from the likes of us, for, for obviously two set pieces which were almost identical. Does that, will you, will you criticise them for that in progress? Well, uh, our record on defending set pieces is quite good since the start of the season, but I must say they, uh, they, uh, their delivery is absolutely great and we're a bit naive on the, their movement. I think on the first goal uh, they blocked the keeper as well, you know, uh, it's not... Com sorry? And the third. And the third as well, so it's not easy for the keeper to, to uh, intervene in, in that kind of situation. Are you happy that the attitude of your players has also has also been highlighted? Are you happy with their attitude when they when they face adversity like this? I think you cannot. Uh, you don't see any obvious signs of uh, lack of attitude. That's what people criticise always uh, when you lose a game. You know, uh, I think uh, we took the responsibility to take the game to them, and uh, uh, it didn't work today. Uh, are we are certainly a bit short of confidence as well, and uh, but I don't think it's an attitude problem. Were you aware of um, a playing banner in the sky about, 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 <laughs> you, about your future? How, how does that affect your, your future? Not you that I watch the game, you know, I do not watch the stands during the game, and uh, I uh, believe that uh, we have to live with that. I think uh, uh, you focus on, uh, on your job, and uh, no matter what people think. Do, do you believe that if you uh, announce the decision on your future and mm. the protests, the banners, the plane, they might go away and the, the supporters will be united behind the team, whatever your decision. I didn't understand well your if question. You, if you um, announce a decision on your future, do you think mm. that will change the attitude of the fans that are protesting, that are flying planes in the sky? I don't know, don't worry. I will. Uh, I know what I will do in my future, so uh, you will soon know. and. Uh, uh, very soon. Does that mean you, sorry, that's slightly different to what you said before. You have decided what, what your decision will be now. Because a few weeks ago you were sort of, well, you hadn't actually decided, it seems. Yeah, you will see. Uh, I don't think that uh, today uh, I do not necessarily worry about that. You know, we are uh, in a unique bad patch that we never had in 20 years. You know, we, uh, we lose game after game at the moment, and uh, that is for me much more important than my future. And how worried are you? Obviously, you've been in situations where you've been outside the top four at this stage of the season, and you've mm -hmm. always got there. But this feels different because yes, it will be. It will be. We have a big fight. I agree with you, and it will be very difficult now. But uh, uh, anyway, there's no other, no, no other way than fighting and uh, and uh, do it until the last game of the season. And then, uh, if it's not good enough, we have to uh, take the consequences. And then maybe uh, one day, if we don't do it, people will enjoy it again to be in there. Awesome. Did the atmosphere from the fans, which I appreciate you, doesn't sort of necessarily bother you during a game, mm. does it affect the team, do you think, then? I don't know, you know, uh, in our job is like when you have a problem with your engine. You can always find uh, many problems, but it's important to find the most important one. And I, I think the most important one today was that we had 77% of possession and didn't create many chances. And that uh, we have to focus on that. I don't think that uh, that uh, fans are a bit uh, disappointed. What I can completely understand uh, that explains that we haven't created goal chances. Thank you very much. Last one. Was he injured? And yes. Was it from the he was injured from the tackle in the first half, you know, and... Uh, sorry? It's a bad tackle. You see his ankle is in absolutely terrible state. He should not have played in the second half. He insisted. 
but he wanted to come out. But you could see, in the first half, he was the one who created many chances, uh, many dangerous situations. And you could see that in the second half, he couldn't anymore. And in the end, uh, he limped. We had to take him off. Yeah. We should not even have played in the second half. Did you didn't miss the Chile games? I think uh, Chile goes to Argentina for a massive game, but they play only next week. And if it's only a kick, yes, he will play. If it's uh, uh, it is ankle swollen, if the ligament is damaged, he will not play. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else know? Have you, let, have you let people at the club know now that you've made this decision? I know what I do. But have you told anyone else at the club now? No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you.